The Soviet Union not only stole Judaism, but stole really religiosity and belief from millions of people. They definitely committed spiritual genocide on Jews and robbed them of their faith. To be a Jew from Tajikistan, it was like very dangerous. And honestly, if we stay there, God knows what would have happened. My name is Mordechai Tukarski. I'm the founder and director of Rage. The Russian-American Jewish experience with a J, and not with a G. Uh, we don't do any anger management. My name is David Goldstein. Actually, I was born in Dmitry. I was born in Odessa in, in the Ukraine, the Soviet Union. My name is Ruvena Bragamov. My name is Christopher Hanna. Jane, Jane Peretsky. My name is Ilina. I was born in Kiev, Ukraine. Dushanbe, Tajikistan. I was raised in New York. I think that rage gives you that opportunity to learn about the Judaism that, for example, my parents were never able to learn about in Ukraine. Right here in this neighborhood, within a five-mile radius, you have almost 150,000 Russian Jews, and there's no one really reaching out to them and giving them an opportunity to express their own identity and have a place where they could share thoughts and ideas and meet other young uh, Russian Jews. We brought thousands of Russian Jews uh, through the classes here and a large percentage of them to Israel. I came to Ridge for the same reason that everybody else does, for the free trip. The ultimate reason was the trip. The day I walked in, I was a completely different person though. I'm not telling you what to think or what to believe. I'm simply telling you this is what Judaism says. I hope you enjoy it, it makes sense and you can get something out of it. This is a 3,800 year old wisdom. Does it have anything that might be of value in your life? Okay? I feel like I've grown as an individual because it doesn't only teach you how to be a Jewish person, it teaches you how to be a human being in every aspect. I've really, really been trying to try not to learn more about Jewish culture, but yes, I have. A lot of Russian Jews want to meet other Russian Jews. They want to marry Russian Jews. They want, they want to meet someone who can make borscht for them, you know, who they could share, like, you know, old Russian jokes with. And there's no place to go. There's no youth center for that. The primary simple to understand reason is there's not that many of us. And if we want to continue offering uh, what we have to the world, we need to keep our people going. We just put them in proximity, uh, get a bunch of them into a room together, and magic happens. It's very important for me to marry a Russian Jew. I believe like this program has helped me in that sense to see what I look for in a mate, in like a, a partner in life, and I'm, I, I've become much more pickier. <laughs> I didn't know a lot of Russian Jews back in Queens, and I have dated, to be honest with you, a couple of people from the program. If you ask my grandma, it is time to crack down on meeting the nice Jewish boy. It's like this person, you know, it was raised with the same morals as you and was raised with the same principles, so it's that comfort, I think. I have not met anybody yet at Rage, but it seems like there's a lot of matchmaking going around, so one day, in, in the good hour, Bishato. I've personally married 27 uh, Rage students in the last year, and I have dates for Rage and Weddings until 2013, so it's working. I think that my parents are very happy that I come to Rage. They are so happy that they came to America and that they live in a place where their children can grow up knowing about the way to live a Jewish life and knowing about the beauty that comes with Judaism. Every one of the uh, students we have here is a product of a long chain of people sacrificing to stay Jewish, to pass on their heritage from generation to generation. They struggled uh, in Russia before Soviet times. They struggled through the 70 years of communism. And uh, now in America, this generation of Russian Jews uh, uh, may disappear. They may disappear forever. And that would be a tragedy. I'm a New Yorker and I'm proud. I'm proud to be a Brooklynite. And I'm awesome. I'm a New Yorker and a proud Russian Jew. Proud Russian Jew.